here is our next big project car. We got a 1977 Chevy Corvette. Got the L82 small block in there. It's automatic trans. The paint is just disappearing, as you could imagine. It's original. The customer, the owner of this car, he's owned it since 78. Kept it all this time. So now he's retired and uh, wants to fix the thing up, which I like. Because I like these old cars, they're fun. So already we've done all the suspension work on it and the brakes, because anybody that knows anything about these cars, the calipers are junk and pretty much every rubber bushing in them, if they've been sitting around, has fallen out. So we already did that. We did that back in like December before we started making videos. <clears throat> so it's got a whole new, all, every new bushing in the car. And then we put a steroids steering gear in it, which really made it drive really, really nice. I mean, the car handles fantastic. Um, but it has some other problems. It's got a turbo 400 trans, which is a fantastic transmission. But on the highway, you know, today's speeds when we're going 80 down the interstate, this thing is just screaming. And uh, it kind of takes the fun out of it if you want to take it on a long trip. And him and his wife want to take it on some take it on some adventures. So we're going to be swapping out that turbo 400 for a Tremec 5-speed that we got from American Powertrain. <clears throat> um, should be here tomorrow. So we'll do an unboxing of that so we can see everything that comes with it. And then we got a vintage air conditioning kit for it because the factory AC just doesn't cool the car well. <clears throat> and we got a kit from Eckler's. New compressor and all these lines. And you can see here, it doesn't match up. So it leaks like crazy and I called them and they're like, oh yeah, that's the right stuff. And it's like, well, it doesn't free on. And then this hose like loops around and I don't know. I don't know what kind of universal crappy kit they have, but 77s are like a one year only for the AC on these things. So, you know, I don't know if it's just the wrong stuff or what, but we talked to the guy and he's fine. He said, let's just order that whole, whole vintage AC kit and be done and hopefully have cold air. <clears throat> and the other problem is this thing has a quarter jet on it, which has been rebuilt and tinkered with and tinkered with and tinkered with, but it still, still has problems. We'll show you here when we go to start it. It's got, the choke's not working right, um, which isn't that big a deal. I guess you could adjust it and make it run again. And then six months later, when it cools off, adjust it again and just keep messing with it. And we're not going to do that anymore. We're going to put a Holly sniper on it and uh, hopefully eliminate all the drivability issues. So we'll have modern steering, modern fuel injection, uh, upgraded air conditioning system, and a five speed with overdrive so this thing will be able to handle the interstate no problem so he should be able to take this thing wherever he wants and once we get all the mechanical stuff done he's going to take it and have a nice paint job put on it and get it brought back to new so that's the c3 all right we'll go get the jump box and get this thing cranked up
about 55, 2600 RPM, so 60, 60 is 20, 28 or so, 70, 32, 33, 75 is around 3500, 80 is 3600, 85 is 35, 3600. So that's what we have with the Turbo 400. And uh, I'm really excited to see what the five speed does. Let's get those parts installed and see what happens.